Pilsen is not a great map when it comes to spotting. Active spotting is almost entirely killed by the corridor nature of the map, but you can do a sneaky move and drive through the bushes on the zero line. And if you get lucky and you do not happen to be yelled by the enemy scout, you can get insane spotting damage from here too. Hi. There are some empty spots here which are not fully covered by bushes, so you always have to be paying attention to their light in the middle, since if he's high enough on one of those cold dunes, he can spot you easily. You can see once again just how CVS is broken. I mean, look at this. Poor Shar is sitting behind 10 bushes stationary and still gets spotted. Hmm. Hi. Howdy ho! If you take a careful look at the minimap, you can see that my team did not spot anything on the other side of the map, so that means all their tanks are literally in front of me. Haven't seen that before on Pilsen. Whoa. Look guys, they have every they have every tank here! Look at the map, chat! What is this? Uh oh. I saw some of you got inspired by my last video to grind out this WZ. Well, let me tell you that it is not really any good. The only good thing about it is the very rare turret bounces and the high alpha. The camo and view range are both very mediocre and there's no point to play this when you can just play the Manticore or the Team 100. <gasps> oh, thank god, he has no view range. Oh my god, thank god, man, thank you. Hello T10, hi. Oh, he's sad now guys, his gun is pointing downwards. Good job. <gasps> I-42, balance. Oh look guys, there's one more! Boom. Boom. Nice. Nice. 10k, man. man big to the game. I spotted 11 people. <laughs> On Mannerheim line, unfortunately, you cannot do much as a scout. You can go into the obvious bush here to try and spot the whole middle, which is risky. I don't like spotting the crossing heavies here because you just get stuck and cannot move out safely. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh. Oh, hi. Uh, bruh. Oh, <laughs> Bro, Agent Crow is something else, man. <laughs> Dude. Okay, man. STB, man, minus. Oh, Leo? Leo? Oh! Bro, guys, he's in the open. Hello. Where is he going, man? Uh oh. Even though, unfortunately, my platoon mates missed him, the fact that our people on the top didn't shoot him at all is absolutely insane. He has no, he has no ammo rank or loader. You know what I mean? Nice. Man, get out of here, bro. <laughs> Did you just pen the guy? Look at how much he was behind the wall already, bro. Guys, this Leo is really annoying me, man. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! Oh, man. What is this? Man! At some point, I have to go for him, dude. I have to do it now, man. Fuck it, dude. Nice. Sweet. He's dead. If I don't have the 268, man, he's dead himself, bro. So. Man, it was worth it in the end, man. For sure. I have to go back. Yeah. FTD. KKL. Yeah. Who's to prevent me from just driving back into the same bush I was before? I mean... Or this guy's gonna... Oh, no! Was it a blind shot? Oh, no! I gotta get out of here. Was it a blind? Oh, he blinded you, man. That sucks. 
We're getting a little boxing in our base, so I have to try and open the top side and take some map control for our team. Okay, nice. We, we kind of need to kill this STRV together, man. We need to kill the STRV, man. We need to... We need to open up this flank. Mind if you go first, because I have no HP. <laughs> let's go, man. Let's kill the STRV. Where is this STRV? He ran, man. Little... Oh, look at him, boy. Hello. Oh, F, man. Did he spot me for that? Nah, no way. He has no view range. I'm gonna go spot the Leo, man. Just aim. They have nothing anymore with view range, so... Fog you. Uh, yeah. The only thing that can kill me is the F3 chat. He can give me a big, big broomstick, man, up my A-hole. I don't know what the enemy is doing, man. I... Maybe I have to go from behind. Huh? I can shoot this Leo once. Pog! Pog you, che. Pog you. Oh, look, both are up here. Mm. FPTD. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, nice. I... Let's kill him, bro. Mm -hmm. Oh, e oh, ah, ah, bing, dang, ba dang, bing, bang. There's a Leo. Or oh, Leo? I'll kill him for you, don't worry. Uh, FETD man uh, is a huge gamer. Okay, I'll give this guy one shot here. He gives me such a nice S shot here. Might as well. Kai. No! <laughs> you fucked me over. <laughs> it's okay, GG, man. <laughs> That's such a banger. On Prohorovka, there is a super good counter push on this side from which you can spot out the enemy light tank driving to E1. Let's see if he's going there this time. If the team under goes aggressive, we will see him there. Up there, we will see him if he goes aggressive. But I'm gonna stay here for a bit. I don't want to be more aggressive in the beginning. Steering. Even if you don't spot the light going aggressive, you can spot all their campers that are sitting high up there next to the red line. This time it is an STRV only and we only have one guy in the middle to shoot him. And if the light is nowhere to be seen, that means he's likely in this obvious bush I also use. But there's a way to counter that. Okay. Yo, agent man, calm down, dude. I don't think he's up there. Could have spotted him if he went up. Hey guys, I'm gonna go move into a bush soon. I'm gonna check for spotting, guys. I'm gonna go up here first, see if I get spotted. If I don't get spotted, he's not up there. But I don't think he's up there anyway, because I would have seen him. Okay, so... He's probably either here, or he's either there, with the team 100. Now, the way you counter this, is you keep to the left side. As much as possible. And you go slowly. And you make sure that these gaps... I'm gonna keep you hidden. You have to be very careful. I can expose a little bit on the right. I just shouldn't expose on the left at all. I'm I'm 99% sure he's there with the team 100. And that's a very, very hard bush to spot. I could theoretically just proxy him out like this. But I'm not sure if this tank is fast enough for that. I think I'll just die. If you are playing something little faster, you can YOLO start over here and do a circle, proxy the guy, and then you instantly try to get away from the same position. I think I'm gonna switch bushes. Take this one on the left. In this case, since my tank is too slow, I offer the CVS approach from which I can spot through the bush. Like this. CBR. Oh. That's nice. Nice! One light down. Want to go? It's your steering. Nice. Okay, well, I guess somebody else is gonna do the dirty job for me. He was that close! He was that close! Oh my god! That's crazy. Okay, well, GG. How was he that close, man? That's, that's crazy. Well, DBR did the dirty work for us. Luckily. No! He's proxying me, man! 
How this guy has come on it. That guy has come on it, man. There is no way, dude. He has come on it, man. There is no other way. When I can only proxy the Forge, it means he has come on it. To avoid those proxy spring disasters, you should always drive very slowly because there's a small chance you will spot them before reaching 50 meters while they still cannot see you. They are very far in the back. Before. The TVP is just clipping the mid map casually. Nice. It's the STRV. Nice. Another projectile. Ghostbusters. Nice, 10k. 11k, man, sweet. Guys, tell me in the comments, what are your biggest struggles as a lighting player? I will try to address them in my next man. video. The absolute best spotting position on Fisherman's Bay is in this bush. It allows you to spot all their tanks that are going towards the one to line camping positions and also allows you to spot most of the guys in the middle, including their light tanks that might be trying to active spot. Just watch this. Rocks me. He didn't. <laughs> that guy got bamboozled, man. If they have those tall FETDs with bad camo, they will not even fade most of the time thanks to the Manticore's incredible view range. A lot of people think that 445 meters is the maximum view range from where you can spot people and anything else over it is useless. While the first part is true, if you have over 445 meters of view range, that means that every meter above it essentially lowers the enemy tank's camo value, and if you combine this with CVS, some tanks simply end up with zero camo at 445 meters, even behind bushes, making it incredibly easy for you to have them perma spotted. Nice. Good shot. Now, this is a fairly frequented bush that I'm sitting in, yet the enemy EBR doesn't have a clue that he is perma spotted. As a light tank player, you should always be very off this position. That is CS. That's the LT. I'm spotted. I'm dead, bro. He on the right. Nice. The Honda was the only one that had the view range, man, of spotting me. Nice. He's permad, he doesn't know that. I'm gonna try it and run now. You can aim. I'm gonna keep him permad. Nice! Sweet, sweet, good job. Catch the TDs now, guys. One by one, man. Let's go. There are the one two line of this trigonometry, guys. Trigonometry. To be able to get super deep spots into the back of the one two line, use these bushes. You're quite high up and you can just solo clear them just by lighting them up. Ay ay ay, ay man, that was DBR spot though. Good shot though, good shot. Hi. Mind if I uh, share the spot with you, sir? I mean, I don't. I know you don't like it, but you know we have to. Aha. Uh -huh. Shot me in the ass. Why? I'm gonna try and keep those guys spotted, man. That are running. Those unlucky individuals. Those not so lucky individuals, man. Yeah, yeah, see? That's why I call them unlucky individuals, man, because they will die, man. Oh, look at those boys. Uh, what? Uh, EBR spots me at 350. What? Okay. I wanna go for this tier V. Now guys, it's time. Close the deal off. Chief running, look at him. <laughs> Gotta get away, man. Gotta get away, man. <laughs> Bad those gun marks, bro. Oh, you it looks like you have been bamboozled, Horshby. And look at TD Gamer, man. Hello. Ooh, look guys. Uh we gotta drown them, guys. Yeah, hell, hell yeah, I can swim. You okay? Stand up! <laughs> we got a drowner. Uh, Achtung, Achtung, guys. What is this gameplay, you coward, man? Literally. 
What is his gameplay? Hey, what a coward, man. Oh my god, man. The enemy team just won the game, man. Let me drink some soy milk. And then just drown myself. Like, bro. How much pudding did you have? Ah. Taking the hill on mines with light is important, but the WZ isn't very fast, so early spotting the island is much more important, especially when you have TDs aiming for you. 50B. 50B pushing to the 1 2. What the? Have you guys ever seen a 50B push to the 1 2 line on mines? Man, why is it so warm? Give me some air, bro. Shoo, boys. Agent, can you calm down, man? Jeez. I'm gonna go, proxy, those guys. Since there isn't much to spot from here anymore, I try and make my way towards the STB and the Leo. The STB will be proxied and I'll be fully safe behind the rocks, therefore completely unkillable. I also spot the Leo in the process and it takes a big one from an ally. I think this is to be realized I'm like behind him, Chet. What do you think? Alright. Okay. We see your STB didn't wanna live any longer then. Once the one turn has been completely cleared out, you can just sit here with your lighting and shoot all the guys that are trying to fight for the middle in the back. Oh, object. Nice. I'm gonna go spot the gorilla now. You ready to one shoot the gorilla? Oh, he's ready, man. Did you just, did you just hit him for zero damage in the tracks? That was weird. Oh boy. The grill got bamboozled, Chad. 9k man on mines, dude. That's really nice. Since the K line is not really playable as a scout, and the WZ is too slow to just run around, coming to the A line is the best solution you have, ever more so after meeting an AMX light who has very interesting decision making. He was actually hoping nobody would come here. Oh, he's actually running away, man. That's perfect. That is perfect, man. If he runs away. And GG. Since the STB is not proxying me, I have a cheeky opportunity to go into the bushes up top to spot his team. And as long as he's not closer than 50 meters, he's never gonna spot me. The STB stayed there for so long, even though he wasn't doing anything, until this happened. Five hours later. He never gets bored, man. <laughs> oh, man. Just get bored, bro. Come on, man. Go away. Go away, man. Okay, bro. You know you're not gonna be safe there, right? Hope you know that. Okay, man. Please one shoot this guy. Not sure what the STB and EBR thought was gonna happen. If you're about to yellow a light, at least check if he's platooning with someone. Whenever you're aiming at an EBR, wait for him to make a turn first and then fire. Give him some love in the chat, boys. Fog you, man. Guys, I will try to spot the guy. Wait, how far is he? 270. He can spot me. The crown cannot. He's too far. Let's try and spot the TDs in the back here. Or I can also farm the crown if I want to. Uh, E4. Nice. I'm gonna wait a bit here. Finish. Nice. Great stuff. Crown didn't spot me. Sweet. I just have to go through passive man on the 1 2 line. That's all I gotta do here, bro. That could be huge, man. Huge. And a CVS optics combo never fails to deliver. Just check this out. <laughs> okay, man. Okay. Damn, nice. You can do it, brother. I believe in you. Easy. You can do it, brother. Well, guys, who would have thought we get 11k this game, man? If you got to the end of the video, congratulations, you are a legend. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, it honestly helps me out massively as a YouTuber. And stay tuned because some big things are going to come on this channel. And as always...